What's going on guys? Getting ready for the uh, 1600 build here, cleaning the case. And uh, cleaned all the spray paint up off the uh, mains. Got the uh, dowel pins that were stuck in there out. They were bad. So hopefully we can dig some uh, dowel pins up for the bearings. And I uh, got some water running through the oil passages and uh, stuff like that. I had to uh, hone the uh, lifter bores. They were uh, full of paint. Lifters wouldn't move in there, so I got that taken care of. And uh, basically just uh, getting to the soap and water part now. Everything else is uh, cleaned up. I think it's ready to go. I honed the uh, drive gear bore so the drive gear would go through. And uh, yeah, so we'll go over here to our uh, pile of parts. And uh, I don't know, I got a call the other day and we might want to full flow this, I don't know. So uh, I don't know if we're gonna do that. Next thing I'm gonna do is get the pump ready. So I'm gonna uh, get in there and blueprint the pump. And uh, that's what it looks like now. I'll show you uh, what it looks like after uh, we go through. This is a 30 millimeter HD Shattuck pump. We're gonna clean the uh, feed hole up. Can you turn that water off for me, please? Arden's mom's on her way here. Okay. Um, he wants you to confirm that it actually needs all that because that's the typical tire store list. Well, the driveway is all soaking wet and I'm not going to crawl in under. No, no, no. She's going to drop it. I'm going to take her home. Okay. Before he goes and buys all the parts, he wants to make sure that they all actually need to be replaced. All right, I'll check it out. All right, so anyway, we got to get the pump ready and uh, stuff like that, just basic prep. Uh, Ken was trying to figure out how long it would take to assemble the motor off the video. And I explained to him that there's uh, a lot of prep work before the camera's turned on, usually in uh, one of my videos to assemble an engine. Although I try to capture all the things it takes to build the motor, there's a lot of stuff leading up to assembling that you have to do, such as cleaning the case, prepping the case, making sure your lifter bores are good. Uh, we already inserted this one. We're going to clean up our uh, pump next, then we have to disassemble the piston cylinders clock the rings, get those reinstalled and ready to uh, assemble. Um, and we're going to full flow the case. We'll have to rewash the case again. Uh, the cam needs to be uh, deburred, so we'll do that after I do the pump. And I'll try to do a video on that, taping the cam up and deburring the edges of the cam. Uh, we'll have to notch the lifters for uh, the oil control. Uh, I showed you guys how to do that before. But uh, I'll try to turn the camera on for that also. So uh, basically, sort of crappy this morning. There's a little bit of John Kerry out there. But the winds are picking up and uh, don't know if it's going to rain or not. And uh, I got a couple ready down at the city. But uh, I got to get this prep work done if we're going to get this assembled on Sunday. So uh, still haven't heard back on a flywheel. So I really can't uh, get that long block done until there's a flywheel because you know you want to set the end play with just the uh, short block uh, anytime you put the piston cylinders on the rods have preload on the cylinders and it can uh, give you a false reading so it's always easier to set with the uh, piston cylinders off at the short block stage the pop flywheel on there but uh, yeah so I need to go in and call Ken find out about the flywheel and he's at a triangle picking up some uh, spring washers and hardware i've depleted all my stuff but uh you know hardware is uh it's a choice whether you want new hardware or used hardware if you buy a rebuilt motor for me it always has brand new hardware but uh this is a youtube deal so i'm just trying to help him out and everybody's got different budgets so and uh nuts and bolts mean different things to different people so you know, after the bolts use for 25, 30 years, you know, it's time probably to replace it. So you get, you know, a proper torque reading and, you know, you want to have the proper and correct spring washer. So, you know, the bolts uh, all torque up the way they're designed to. Uh, you can't take a split washer and put it where a spring washer was at. It just doesn't work out that way. So that's what's going on here. Let me uh, 
Try to get to the radio here and turn it off before you know how you get in trouble for that. So I don't want to do to do. And uh, yeah, so uh, there you go. That's probably under 20 seconds. So we got some people coming from Sweet on and they want to take the race car out. So we're gonna have to clean this bad boy up. And uh, I guess they're gonna buy some gas for it and uh, pay to take it out to the track because they want to race it. So of course I'm gonna drive. They're just gonna pit crew it. So that's coming up in the next week or two. So we'll get this cleaned up. And that'll probably be the last time out for this car. Unless somebody buys it soon, it's gonna get uh, some street mods. All right, let me go. I got some people here dropping some cars off, doing some stuff. I got some Hemi parts, so we'll work on that. And then when we start full flow on that case, we'll turn the camera back on for that.